my brother. Welcome to the Real Man Revolution, a movement for high-achieving, successful men who refuse to settle for anything less than the have-it-all marriage and the have-it-all life that results from having that marriage. I'm Bob Gerace, and I help professional men like you who have built a dynamite career and now suffer the consequences of what it took to build it inside of a marriage that is not working, leading to a life of brother and sister misery, or worse, a devastating divorce. And I've helped thousands of men to turn Turn around that failing marriage, turn it around without sacrificing anything inside of their career by helping them to learn how to rebuild trust, how to rebuild connection, love, safety, and comfort inside their marriage for both partners. And so brother, if you value this free content, then by subscribing to this channel and liking my videos, you can help me to spread the word to other men who, like us, refuse to settle for anything less than happiness in the boardroom or the operating room or the flight deck or wherever you make your money in every room of the house as well, brother. My brother, one of the most common questions that I get asked is, how do you undo I'm done? How do you transcend her, her inability or, or unwillingness or unforgiveness, her, her staunch, steadfast, she wants a divorce and nothing else, and she has no patience or tolerance or interest in working on or trying to save the marriage? How do you actually get past that? And what I'm going to tell you is that the answer is 100% leadership. Because when she's telling you those things, what she's actually doing is she's actually leading the marriage. And she's leading the marriage to a very bad place. Now, if we were able to get inside her brain and look at what's going on, there's a logical side and there's an emotional side. And the emotional side is hurting, and it's been hurting for a long time. And so much of this is that she doesn't feel loved by you. She doesn't feel seen by you. She doesn't feel heard by you. She doesn't feel cared for by you. She doesn't feel like you are the caretaker of her spirit and the caretaker of her soul. And because of all those things, there's a lot of other emotions that start to stack on. For one, she feels very lonely. For another, she feels very unloved. For another, she blames some of this on herself because as humans, we do that. And she wonders, how did I fail as a wife? Why was he so unhappy? Or what was wrong with me that he couldn't treat me the way that I needed to be loved? And what's really tragic about this is the fact that most of us as men are clueless about this. We go through our lives and we don't even know this is going on. And she'll say her little complaints and her little nags and her little criticisms. And we think that it's just, you know what, we've got them too. And, and that's it. I mean, you know what, there's no fairy tale marriage. There's no fantasy. And she's just going to have to deal with it the same that we do. But what we don't understand is that there's this deep, deep level of unhappiness. And, and, and this deep level of unhappiness is, is becoming toxic to her. And, and God forbid that you're actually raging on her, yelling at her, making her feel unsafe emotionally, or, or God forbid physically, any of those kinds of things. And pretty quickly, what it adds up to is the fact that if she doesn't get out of the marriage, she feels like her health and even her life are in danger. And so that's what it means when they say that you've got a toxic relationship or a toxic marriage. It is physically, mentally, and emotionally, and oftentimes spiritually dangerous and damaging for her to stay inside that marriage. So she makes a decision that she's going to lead her way out of that. She's not going to stay stuck in that forever. She's going to lead herself to some version of sanity. Now, along the way, she's thinking that her kids, your kids, that you, that you have together or, or as a blended family, that as, as those children are drugged through that marriage, very bad things happen to them emotionally. And as the finances of your family are drugged through that divorce, very bad things happen financially. And as, as the new dating relationships start and the children get pushed to the side, and, and, and she struggles with probably at or near poverty because she can't have a big job because she's got children to take care of and, and you don't have access to all of the money you used to have because you're giving some of it to her, a lot of it to her, and you still have to live on your own. 
all of these things are weighing in her mind, but the toxicity of the marriage is overwhelming her. And so when she starts thinking about, well, the statistics say I'm gonna lose 70% of my net worth if I get divorced, the emotions on the other side say, yeah, but what good is 100% if I'm dead? And when she says, my children are more likely to commit suicide or become drug addicted or teen pregnant if they are raised in a broken home or abused, and, and that's the most tragic thing, especially for young girls. And, and, and she says, and that's horrible, and then she says, but how am I gonna protect my children at all if I'm dead or get cancer or, or something else from the toxicity of this marriage? And so there's this, this balance that's being weighed in her head. And every time that she puts it on the scale, her being dead or unhealthy or con and contracting cancer or whatever becomes the deciding factor. And she makes a decision that I've, I've gotta leave, I've gotta get out. And she literally begins leading the marriage towards divorce. And that's when you as a man, you usually wake up and, and you see, oh, this isn't just her complaining and nagging. This is much more serious than I was willing to accept or willing to believe or willing to investigate. And now all of a sudden, I'm in panic mode because my wife says she's leaving and I'm blindsided, I'm not prepared. I don't understand how or why or why things are so bad. And so that's usually when men come to me. It's, it's at that point. And, and brother, I'll tell you, I wish they would come sooner because it would be an easier lift and it would be so much easier and faster to get them back to the state of a blissful marriage. And yet, men are asleep. So you wake up and, and then you come to me and you have this major problem where she is hell-bent, steadfast, and staunchly committed to divorce. And she doesn't want to see about you changing. She doesn't want to hear about you changing. All she wants is for you to sign the papers and move on. And the question at that point on every man's mind is, is it too late? And I'm going to tell you that because of everything that I just said, the answer is no. Not unless, and I always say these two caveats, if you've done something unforgivable, and I'm going to tell you probably the most unforgivable thing other than men hitting or hurting women that, that I've ever seen is there was a man who was so angry with his wife for having a few drinks at the bar with her girlfriends that when she came home with alcohol on her breath, he called the police and said that she was drunk and that she was threatening to, hold her, to, to, to hurt the children and that she was holding a knife in her hand. None of that was true. The only thing that was true is that she'd had a few drinks with some friends. The police came, she became hysterically angry, played right into his hands, and she got whisked away and, and held overnight. And I'm gonna tell you, that, that he's never gonna win her back. So if that's you, you should probably turn this video off right now. The other thing is, and this one is possible to come back from, and I've helped a lot of men, and you may see in some of my testimonials, you'll see that I've helped them to do it, but brother, I'm gonna tell you it's a heavy lift, is if she's in love with another man, and especially if she's planning to marry him. But absent those two caveats, what I'm gonna tell you is that nearly 100% of the time, it is infinitely possible to win her back after she says that she's done and she's decided that she wants to move on and she wants you to sign the papers. Why? Because of everything that I've said so far. Because she doesn't want a divorce. She doesn't want her marriage to fail. She doesn't want your children to suffer the consequences of that. She doesn't want for herself to suffer the, the financial consequences. And, and in a lot of times, she doesn't want to hurt you. And so you've got all of these things weighing on one side of not getting divorced, and that's what's kept her in the game and in the marriage for the last umpteen years and, and, and suffering in silence is those very thoughts. And it's only when it reaches a tipping point and she's decided that she's done that she comes out and tells you. So really the question is, is it possible to pull her back over that tipping point? And, and, and yes, because she doesn't want 
the divorce, no matter what she says. She didn't marry you planning on failing. She didn't marry you planning on divorcing. She didn't want to have kids with you to raise them in a broken home and worry about who's peeking at them or who's touching them or who's hurting them or who's, who's pushing them to the corner because he, he, they're not his kids. She didn't marry you and, and build whatever wealth the two of you have built together only to see it burn to ashes. She doesn't want any of this. What she wants is for you to step up and lead the marriage. Now look, there's two kinds of men and two kinds of marriages when it comes to leadership. There's some who say, you know what, it's fine if my wife leads. And I'm going to say, if that's you, you should turn this video off right now because that's not the kind of man I coach. Now look, man, I'm never going to tell you to be a dictator or to dominate her or to manipulate her or to lead her in any direction other than the direction she wants to go. But as I've said before, and I love saying it, so I'm going to say it again. Imagine that you're standing around a bunch of your friends and you're telling the story that last year my wife, you know what, I'm so, I'm so glad for her because her marriage was in a ditch. And she stepped up and she became the woman I needed her to be. And then she led me to a place where I recognized my own faults in the marriage and encouraged me and motivated me and inspired me to become the man that she always knew I could. And in that space, she saved our marriage. Now, brother, I don't know about you, but I, I'm, I'm not comfortable telling that story. The story I want to tell is last year, if, if, if this is the case, that my marriage was in the ditch and I stepped up and became the man I needed to be. And I led my wife to a place where she could see that she had some responsibility in this failed marriage and that by me working on myself and becoming a better husband and a better man, I inspired and motivated her to work on herself and become a better woman. And inside of that space, we found bliss and happiness in our marriage, and our marriage was saved. Brother, that's the process. And I talk about this in my master class. I talk about the, these four shifts that you need to make, and I call it releasing your rage, becoming the man, the leader, and the king, releasing her rage, and then coaching your marriage. And brother, if you'll do that from a strong, masculine leadership position, and you'll actually do that work. I'm here to tell you that I've got over 1,600 documented cases that say this is no longer theory. This is proven fact. You can win her back even after she tells you she's done beyond repair, she's moving on, she's getting a lawyer, she's sending the papers, she wants you to sign them. You can get her back in spite of all of that stuff. But I'm going to tell you the clock is ticking. And so to do this, you're going to need the tools. You're going to need the skill set because there's no time to waste. And there's certainly no time for two steps forward and one step back. Because the only real variable in whether you get her back or not is how fast can you become the man you need to be in order to inspire, lead, motivate her to, to, to follow your leadership away from divorce, and back towards marital bliss. That's what I teach in my master class. It's available to you absolutely free. And you can click the link in the description below. And then after that class, if you still want information or you want to craft a step-by-step -step plan that is unique and specific to your exact marriage and your exact situation, then go ahead and you'll be given an opportunity to book a free call. Go ahead and, and book that free call and let's get on the phone and let's map out your plan to lead your wife away from the divorce court and back to marital bliss, which is, I promise you, exactly where she wants to be in her heart. The only reason she's saying anything different is she doesn't believe it's possible. She's tried and she's exhausted and she's given up. It's time for you to pick up the slack. It's time for you to rise up and be the hero that she needs you to be, to become the man she wants you to be, and to win her back by leading her to where she wants to go. So click the link below and let's get started right now.